In this video, we're going to walk through how you can add contacts to your autopilot account via a list import. The first thing you'll want to do is navigate to the contact section of the autopilot dashboard and select the big green plus button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Next, you'll want to click on import and then select the list from your computer that you want to upload into autopilot. Now, we typically recommend uploading a CSV file to ensure your formatting is captured correctly, but you can import a number of other file formats, including an Excel spreadsheet. Once you've selected the file, you'll be asked to complete some simple field mapping to ensure the fields you have in your list are mapped across into their corresponding fields in Autopilot. Now, if you have a field that isn't standard, you can create a custom field to store this data against in Autopilot. To do so, simply click on the drop down, select Add a Custom Field, and type in the name of that custom field, as well as the type of data that will be entered into this field in future. If you don't want to map a field across into Autopilot, you can simply leave the mapping blank for that field and we won't carry the data across. Once you're happy with your field mappings, you can hit continue, and then you'll see a preview of the data mappings that you've put in place. Selecting continue again will take you to our duplication strategy options, should we find an email address in your list that matches the contact that is already in autopilot. Now, we recommend opting for the default option here, which will update existing contacts with only those new fields that we find in the spreadsheet. However, you can choose to override what's in autopilot by selecting the second option, or do nothing at all with those duplicate contacts we find by selecting the third option. Lastly, on clicking continue, you'll be asked if you want to assign all contacts in the spreadsheet to a list in autopilot or given the option to select a current list or create a new list. Please note that we'll automatically create a list for you that matches the name of your spreadsheet, but you can remove this if you choose and add a custom list of your choice. Selecting the import contacts will then begin the upload process and you'll receive a confirmation pop-up once complete. The new contacts will then live in the all contacts list within Autopilot, as well as any lists that you created or selected when uploading.